Tonight, the market is about to be flooded with COVID-19 antibody tests, but government regulators have approved only two of them for use under what is known as the emergency use authorization. There's a lot of confusion going on in the medical field right now on these serological testing. In Chicago's Lincoln Park neighborhood, Dr. Rahul Kare has been testing patients for the COVID-19 virus in tents just outside his clinic. That test tells if someone is currently infected. He's hoping to soon offer a serological test, also called an antibody test, to determine if someone has already been exposed to the virus. But he's running into the same dilemma as other healthcare professionals. It's really difficult to tell which tests are more reliable than the others. The ones that have been FDA approved or have an EUA emergency use attached to it are the ones that healthcare workers should really be using. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration just announced government scientists will begin reviewing data on some of the antibody tests to see if they actually work. The Association of Public Health Laboratories considers that a good first step. We're hopeful that the evaluation evaluation will be completed very soon and that that data is going to be made available so that we can get a sense of the quality of these tests. Many dozens of companies have informed U.S. regulators that they are selling antibody tests after the FDA loosened its standards in March in an attempt to make more tests available quickly. The country's top infectious disease expert wants more research. We really need to know precisely what we're talking about when we start dealing with antibodies. Serological tests are blood exams that look for antibodies, human infection fighters, and antibodies can indicate if you've had the virus and might now be immune. In theory, you would not get infected again and you wouldn't be a risk to others. Some public health experts tonight are warning just because someone has antibodies doesn't necessarily mean they are immune. My department right now is looking at a number of these tests. North Shore University Health System, the first Chicago area hospital to perform its own in-house coronavirus testing for patients, tells the I-team it's now doing its own vetting of the antibody tests. And we're seeing this in the laboratory now that there are variable degrees of performance of these tests, and they're making claims about performance that aren't being borne out uh, by, by our experiences either. Dr. Karen Call is optimistic about the serological testing, but reliability aside, one key question for her remains, how long will immunity last? So at this point, I think having a positive antibody test is of value in that you likely did have COVID-19 or a past coronavirus infection, but I, I think it's too early to say that this means you're immune to future infections. The test results may be most useful in revealing how the virus spread throughout the U.S. population. For an anxious public, it might provide a sense of relief, and it could help officials decide when to lift the stay-at-home order. It's really, really important to have a physician who can understand the results and kind of tell you what, it, what they mean. The FDA's commissioner said in a statement that the agency will take action against any company making false claims about antibody testing or selling inaccurate tests. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.